so we finally have something different after a very long time in a custom room this custom room is having some amazing features inspired from nothing os and many of the custom rooms are not having this we are talking about xcn os and it's based on android 16 this is xcn os version 2.0 the latest version right now while making this video it is in beta stage but it's actually so good having a lot of features inspired from nothing was based on android 16 it it is bringing you a lot of things so make sure to watch this video till the end i'm going to talk about some of the things included in this one first of all if you're able to notice this search apps option basically this search bar is available at the bottom which is a different thing not available in many custom rooms and also if you move on to the default launcher settings it is a pulse launcher so it is having few of the extra options as compared to pixel launcher and it is also having this feature named as search bar customization search bar provider you can decide if you want that google search bar if you want brave browser search bar or anything else so that's actually good you can even turn off the search bar at the bottom if you move on to quick settings panel this is based on android 16 the quick settings panel is the new one it is having the option ability to resize the tiles reshape them of course reposition them and so on it's good but the brightness slider is not inspired from the latest android 16 qpr update it is the normal different one which you're getting with android 15 so it's just up to you if you love this thing or not if you move on to volume panel you will see differences there the volume panel it is also already available with exynos previous version 2 but not available in many other custom rooms it is having this expandable volume panel and also if you hold here you will see the normal one which is available in android 15 not the latest one which you might get with android 15 android 16's qpr update for now this is the settings ui which is having same options same ui in settings as you can see but it is having expressive ui already so it's good it is having expressive ui not the colorful icons on the left side of the settings but but everything else like the switches and the ui is the expressive ui so it is good lock screen widgets here comes some interesting parts here you can simply change the styles or for example if you're able to notice the widget picker is a different one normally in some other custom rooms where you have the option to where you have the ability to add some widgets on the lock screen or remove them we have a different ui but this case in this case we have a different ui available you can enable or disable them and this is a lock screen which you are getting although it is not having big widgets or small widgets kind of thing simple four widgets options are available you can sort them you can simply drag and drop and so on so this is what we have it also brings you this quick look option and i guess i found that in nothing OS when i used nothing OS first time so yes those things many things are available inspired from nothing OS. it's good it is having pulse visualizer also if you are using if you're playing music this might be a useful thing for you i personally don't play music much in, in these kind of devices so this is not for me it also has this power of verification option available so when your device is locked you'll need to use your password to power off or restart this is really good if you move on to always on display it is also the latest one and it is a different one from as compared to some of the other custom rooms so many things many options many configurations are different one it is having a lot of other options too we have the option when to show schedule charging and so on so yes it's just so good here comes another interesting part if you move on to wallpapers and style section all the custom clocks are now from nothing OS, not the default google clock styles and this is looking just so good all the nothing OS clock styles are available so you can change these clock styles and yes it is just not showing it is working fine you have these options available let me show you if you move on if i move on to lock screen just noticed this is literally from nothing OS, so that's good if you're nothing OS fan if we finally have something really good for you if, you, if your device does not have the nothing OS port available if you are not able to use nothing device then this custom room might be the one for you cloned apps feature is already here you can use it in case you want to it's totally up to you if you love these kind of things or not and yes it also brings you the app locker inspired from nothing OS. this app locker is not available with aosp based custom rooms in and as far as i know with android 16 Many custom rooms are not giving you app locker so far. App lock is working fine in this case. As you can see, animation and so on, all things things are available in this case, and it's working flawlessly. As you can see, you also have the option to choose a lock app when screen is locked or app exit and so on. 
It also brings you some experimental features. For example, ignore window secure flags. This is so useful. It is here. And if you move on to spoofing option, unlimited photo storage and higher FPS in games. But we do not have the option for play integrity fix, unfortunately. You can simply fix it with the help of some modules by routing a device and so on. But by default, it's not there. Sidebar is also here. It also brings you pinned apps options. So you can pin the apps in case you want to. And it is also the new one, new UI. And it's good as compared to some of the other sidebar options available in other custom rooms. It's a different one. So many things, many, many things are available, which are different one from some other custom rooms. It's quite good. It also brings you the support for game space. If you're a gamer, you need game space kind of things. Game dashboard, it's available. It has some other tweaks too, which you can go and explore. So this is what we have. Three finger swipe gestures. And this also have the option of custom three, custom, basically swipe three finger gestures actions so in my case i personally use a screenshot only but also have the new preview ui i also have the option to disable the power button and volume down button so you take a screenshot by pressing some volume buttons it has the option to turn that off so things are so good you can go and explore it if you want to this is it thanks for watching hope you like this and i will see you in the next one